Let us now look at the classification of numbers into various types. The first one here is natural numbers. Natural numbers are those numbers which are used for the purpose of counting. It is a set of positive counting numbers and denoted by the letter N. As you can see here, natural numbers include 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on up to infinity. The next one here is whole numbers. Whole numbers is a set of all the natural numbers including 0. It is generally denoted by the letter W and as you can see the set here consists of 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. The next one comes here as integers. Integers is a set of all whole numbers along with the negative numbers. As you can see in the previous two cases we did not have any negative number. All the numbers were positive. But now integers also include negative numbers along with the whole numbers. Generally denoted by the letter I this set consists of the number starting from negative of infinity and then coming up like minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and then positive integers 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. So as you can see it is a set which has got all the whole numbers along with the negative numbers. So all such numbers are referred as integers. Then the next classification here is even numbers and odd numbers. Even numbers as we know are those numbers which are exactly divisible by 2. This is a set of numbers that is exactly divisible by 2 or we can say these are the exact multiples of 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on are the examples of even numbers. Why? Because these are the numbers that are exactly divisible by 2. The next one is odd numbers. Odd numbers are those numbers which are not exactly divisible by 2. So set of numbers which are not exactly divisible by 2 is referred as odd numbers or we can say numbers which are not even are odd. So 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on are the examples of odd numbers as all these numbers are not the exact multiples of 2 or these numbers are not divisible by 2. So if a number is divisible by 2 it can be taken as even otherwise it is to be considered as an odd number. Let us now understand what is meant by factors and multiples. If a number x divides y perfectly then x is considered as a factor of y and y becomes the multiple of x. So as given here when a number x divides some other number y perfectly what does it mean by perfect division? A perfect division is the one where the remainder is 0. So in such cases the number x is referred as a factor of the number y and y is called the multiple of x. For example, 4 is a factor of 16. Why? Well, because 4 can divide 16 exactly. 16 by 4 is equal to 4. The remainder is 0. So that is the reason 4 is considered to be a factor of 16. And hence, 16 becomes a multiple of 4. Why? Well, because if x is a factor of y, y has to be the multiple of x. Similarly, 18 is a multiple of 16. Why? Well, because 18 is divisible by 6 exactly. So if 18 is divisible by 6, that means 6 is able to divide 18. So if 18 is multiple of 6, we can say that 6 is a factor of 18. So very clearly factors and multiples are linked to each other. If A is a factor of B, then B has to be a multiple of A. So if 4 is a factor of 16, 16 is a multiple of 4. Apart from 4, the other factors of 16 are 1, 2 and 8. Why? Because 16 is exactly divisible by all the three numbers. 16 by 1 is equal to 16, 16 by 2 is equal to 8, 16 by 8 is equal to 2. So only those numbers which can exactly divide the given number should be taken as the factors of the number. And similarly only those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number should be considered as multiples of the number. For example apart from 18 the other multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 24, 30 and so on. But because all these numbers are divisible by 6. So factors are those numbers which can exactly divide the given number and multiples are those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. Based on the number of factors, all the natural numbers except one can be classified as either a prime number or a composite number. So let us understand this important differentiation between prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers, these numbers have no factors besides one and itself. So prime numbers are those numbers which have only two factors, one and the number itself. And some examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. So all these are the numbers which have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. 
For example, the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Factors of 3 are 1 and 3. For 5, 1 and 5. For 7, 1 and 7. These numbers are divisible only by 1 and by the number itself. No other number can exactly divide such numbers. So these numbers are called as prime numbers. Next comes composite numbers. Composite numbers are the numbers that have other factors beside 1 and itself. So the numbers which have more than two factors are called composite numbers. For example, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. So we can say that all the numbers other than prime numbers can be taken as composite numbers. For example, 4, the number of factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. So we can see that there are more than two factors. Apart from 1 and the number itself, 2 is also a factor of 4. Why? Because 2 can divide 4 exactly. So 4 cannot be a prime number as it has more than two factors. So it is called a composite number. Similarly, when you look out for all the other numbers, they have more than two factors. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. For 8, we have 1, 2, 4 and 8. For 9, we have 1, 3, 9 and so on. So all these numbers have got more than two factors. So they are called as composite numbers. One important point to be observed here is the number 1 is an exception. It is neither a prime nor a composite number. 1 does not participate in any of these two categories. So except 1, all the remaining natural numbers can be classified either as prime numbers or composite numbers depending on the number of factors which they have. Let us now learn what is meant by a fraction and what are the various types of fractions. As we have already discussed, rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed in the form of a by b where b is not equal to 0 and a and b both are integers. And from the various examples we have found that there are some rational numbers where the denominator b is equal to 1. For example, 8 is a rational number. Why? Because it is in the form of 8 by 1 where the denominator b is equal to 1. And then at the same time there are some other rational numbers where the denominator b is not equal to 1. So this is one major classification of rational numbers. Rational numbers can either be integers or fractions depending on the denominator. If the denominator is equal to 1, then it is an integer. And if the denominator is other than 1 but not equal to 0, then it is considered to be a fraction. So fractions are nothing but rational numbers where the denominator b is not equal to 1. Whereas integers are rational numbers where the denominator b is equal to 1. So let us now understand what is actually meant by fraction and what are the various types of fractions. A fraction denotes a part or parts of a unit. So a fraction is nothing but some part of the given unit. It is majorly classified into the following types. So here we have got three major types of fractions. Proper fractions, improper fractions and mixed fractions. So let us understand what is the difference between these three types. Proper fractions. These are the fractions in which the numerator is less than the denominator. For example, 1 by 2, 3 by 5, 6 by 7, 9 by 13 and so on. So as you can see here, in each of these fractions, the numerator, that is A, is less than the denominator, that is B. For example, 1 is less than 2 or 9 is less than 13. So all these fractions are called proper fractions. Why? Because these are actually a part of 1, that is 1 unit. So these fractions are called proper fractions. And the other point that we can understand here is proper fractions are always less than 1. Why? Because these are a part of 1. The second type of fraction that we have here is improper fractions. Now these are the fractions where the numerator is more than the denominator. That means A, the numerator, is more than the denominator B. Now some examples here are 5 by 4, 3 by 2, 14 by 9, etc. So as you can see, in each of these fractions, numerator is more than the denominator. 5 is more than 4, 14 is more than 9, 3 is more than 2. So all such fractions where the numerator is more than denominator are called improper fractions. Why? Because they are in the form of A by B but they are more than 1. So such fractions are improper fractions. And the point that to be understood here is all these fractions are greater than 1. So proper fractions are those fractions where the value is numerically less than 1 and improper fractions are those where the value is more than 1. The third and the last fraction here we have is mixed fractions. Now mixed fractions are those fractions which consist of two parts, an integral part and a fractional part. So a mixed fraction is a combination of an integer as well as a fraction. Some examples here are 1 6 by 7, 12 5 by 8, 9 2 by 7 etc. So as you can see here, each of these fractions have got two parts, an integer part and a fraction part. 
for example in the first case here we have 1 6 by 7 so 1 is the integer part and 6 by 7 is the fractional part similarly 12 5 by 8 here 12 is the integer part and 5 by 8 is the fraction part and likewise in 9 2 by 7 9 is the integer part and 2 by 7 is a fraction part one important point that is to be observed here is a mixed fraction is nothing but an improper fraction. Why? Because when we simplify this, it comes out to be more than 1. As already we have some integer part that is 12, 9, 1, etc. So when this complete fraction is considered, that is integer part plus the fraction part, it will definitely be more than 1. And we very well know that fractions which are more than 1 are improper fractions. So all the mixed fractions are actually improper fractions. So this is a major classification when it comes to fractions. Proper fractions which are less than 1, improper fractions which are more than 1 and mixed fractions which have got a combination of an integer part and a fraction part.